All right, it is, what is it? Monday, June 7th, 2021. It's five o'clock a.m. And I'm on my way to the gym right now. Today is chest day. You know, one of the reasons why I love the church that I go to is because I can understand what the pastor is talking about. Because a sermon typically has a topic and then it has three head, it has three subjects below it that he's going to touch on. Yesterday's topic was labeled Recover All. And the first one was Recover, Handle the Task. And the third one is you have to be able to encourage yourself. So I'm going to try to follow his his line of doing things and I'm going to deliver what I have to say. And what I have to say is going to touch on two things. One, you have to be able to get your emotions under control. You have to understand something that when the devil wants to gain control of your mind, your body, as well as your body, your mind, and everybody else around you, the first thing they will do is to throw something at you to get your emotions all into a bind, get your, get your emotions all into a, into a big old mess. So you have to be mindful of the fact that the devil will use things to get you all riled up. And he knows if he gets you all riled up and talking about the drama, you'll forget about your dreams, your goals. You'll forget about pouring into your children, your grandchildren. And so when you go through a emotional state that creates drama in your life you are playing directly into the devil's hands because now he knows if he can tie up your mind then he can tie up your dreams and if he ties up your dreams then he can tie them up from being let loose to anybody else now you just become a well that has been shut off a wealth of knowledge that has been shut off because the drama has taken over. Second thing, count on God to be your source, the source. So that way when other people come around and you know that they don't mean you no good, you know that they don't wish you well, you don't have to keep having them back around because see, you don't see them as the source or a source. You see God as your source. And when God is your source, you no longer have to feel like you're a victim of people who don't care. Of people who don't share in your in your in your vision or people who don't share in your wins. They'll celebrate your losses. But they won't be nowhere to be found for your wins. So two points. Keep God as your source. As the source. Two, keep your emotions in check.